a budget mini PC with Intel's top-of-the-line mobile processor and crazy good performance. This is how good the new Morphine S600 promises to be, but is it? Let's inspect! So, that's a mini computer running Windows 11 Pro, and inside it has a Core i9 13th generation processor by Intel and a lot of other remarkable specifications. So I, I had to try it out, put it under some serious testing in order to expose all the strong and the weak sides and basically everything that matters about the Morphine S600. Of course, the price matters the most and happens to be a big strength for this new generation of the series. If you equip yours with an i7 CPU and go for the bare-bone version letting you pick RAM and storage separately, you're gonna pay $429. The Core i9-based top-end variation with 64GB of RAM and 4TB of storage is just $900. And I say just because the price is really good for such a powerful hardware combo. While other brands, such as Gigabyte and Asus, would charge you a lot more money for that, Morphine will have to mainly compete against other Chinese brands, such as B-Link, GMK Tech and Minis Forum. Unboxing S600 feels familiar, because I've already tried one of the older iterations. Not that much has changed in the meanwhile. There's some information about the PC on the box itself, thick layers of foam are protecting the housing, and this is the Morphine S600 in reality. There's just one single color option, the top is glossy, and yeah, your fingers will easily leave some marks. Three USB ports on the front, together with a power button, a lot more of these on the back side. Luckily, these mini PCs are still keeping the 3.5mm audio port, unlike most 2024 high-end smartphones. Apparently, the whole chassis is designed to be more like a heatsink. And while I totally like the design, Morphine could have used a little stronger material, especially on the bottom. From the accessories, this is by far the nicest surprise, a heatsink that you can apply to the extra storage you want to add. Since a SATA drive is supported as well, there's an extension cable too. Here's the power adapter, there's of course a VESA mount option, which helps you to install the mini PC on the back of a monitor, so quite a complete geeky starter pack. And before we dive into testing, fail to disclose some of the most interesting specs about it. The CPU is Intel made, 13th generation, i7 or i9 choices at the time I work on the video. You can go for dual channel DDR5 up to 64GB, up to 4TB NVMe drives, the latest generation of Iris Xi graphics, a Wi-Fi 6 capable wireless controller, dual LAN port setup, supported her up to three monitors, there's a quite large fan for cooling, the weight of the mini PC is around 900 grams and Windows 11 Professional Edition is the operating system. If you like to go for the latest and greatest specifications, I think S600 by Morphine kinda nails it. Um, it keeps the same chassis as some of the previous iterations of the product and I think that's quite a good idea because this is aluminium and it has very good heat dissipation and at the same time more fine revamp the hardware on the inside. We run here a Core i9 and I was lucky to test the 13900H CPU and H stands for high performance. This is a laptop grade hardware and uh, it's actually a very good idea because it can offer tremendously good performance and very balanced power consumption. In a matter of fact, they ship it with defaults which are really balanced and you can tune it up from the BIOS settings so that you can get the most out of this processor. We have DDR5, upgradable up to 64 gigabytes. We have pretty good storage plus two extra slots for expansion. And I feel that we're already talking about the geeky stuff, so Let's try to disassemble this box and figure out which are our options to perform repairs and upgrades. Unlike most of the other models, Morphine give you access from both the top and the bottom. I've started with the bottom end. In order to access it, you're gonna have to remove the rubber legs and the screws. No risky moments here. There won't be any cables in between, so it's quite safe. I agree the fan is really big. Here is, by the way, the second NVMe slot. Note that this one is just PCI Express Generation 3 as opposed to the Generation 4, which is the primary one. To remove the top cover, there are two screws on the back side that need to be removed. Then gently pull up and be careful because the Wi-Fi antenna is attached to the top. 
On the cover, you're going to notice the rails for the extra 2.5-inch drive, so quite a lot of storage can get inside this mini PC. The single DIMM here is actually a surprise. I thought that the 32 gigs inside are based on two 16 gigabyte DIMMs. Apparently not, which is nice, because I'm just one DIMM away from maxing out the supported amount of 64 gigabytes. Crucial is a good brand, and so far I'm happy with the components seen. The storage is okay -ish. It's the QLC-based P3 Plus model, a rather cheap one made by Crucial again, which won't deliver exceptional results, but is at least excellent about reading speeds. Just as most other QLC-based M2 drives, sustained write speed will drop after some time, but let's say performance is alright. There's easy access to the Wi-Fi module, which is also removable, so I'm quite happy with the level of repairability here, and Morphine are quite generous about the storage expansion options. Speaking of generosity, there's a lot of it when it comes to the performance. This Core i9 is fantastic about every single task you're going to perform. Could be something basic, such as opening a website, or watching a simple YouTube video, or could be something stressful for the PC, such as video decoding or rendering. In any case, the CPU is going to deliver excellent results. If you want to go even further, you may want to check the BIOS settings and tune the wattage up. There also is an option to control the fan speed, so if you want the PC to run more quietly than the defaults, this is possible. Not that it's too noisy or something, perfectly tolerable by default, in my opinion. If there's an area where Intel need to catch up as compared to AMD, this is definitely the iGPU capacity. Because I've recently tested a current generation of AMD NPU with Radeon 680M, and it certainly delivered a lot better performance as compared to this Iris iteration. Don't get me wrong, the GPU here handles most games well, but what a current AMD CPU can do is close to entirely replacing the need of using a dedicated GPU in some cases. And even though the frame rates are close to twice less as compared to what I just mentioned, the S600 is perfectly suitable for some games and can be quite a lot of fun. For the next few demos and tests, I'm going to show more from the operating system, Windows 11 Professional Edition, and it is activated and licensed so that you can enjoy the latest and greatest features from Microsoft. From the store, you can get the Cinebench tool, and it can test the performance of the CPU. I just want to remind you that during the test I've kept the default BIOS settings, and you have some more performance which can be unlocked via tuning. You can of course customize the desktop experience, easily navigate through the multiple monitors, in case you need more than one, even use the computer as a dedicated file server or home NAS or firewall, because it has two LAN ports. If you want to go as wireless as possible, then it is worth mentioning that the Wi-Fi adapter here delivers pretty consistent and good results. Through the remaining connectivity ports, you can add all the peripherals that you need. If something is missing, pretty sure you can connect it wirelessly. So, is there something else you may miss from this mini computer? Well, the idle power consumption is a bit more than the usual for this grade of computers. I miss a slightly more rugged housing. I also miss a USB 4 port or at least Thunderbolt support because the S600 can even support an external GPU, but you have to run it via a conversion kit from M2 to PCI Express and also get an additional power supply. Bottom line, this is one of the fastest mini computers of 2024, uh, loaded with amazing features and packing some of the best specifications which are mostly laptop grade components which doesn't mean you're sacrificing performance quite the opposite and as a bonus you get a very balanced power consumption probably the only kind of meaningful competition would be those mini pcs based on the ryzen 7000 series because of the increased integrated gpu performance but over here we have overall better cpu which consumes a bit less power and maybe the price is a tad better. So do you like this new revamped edition of the Morphine S600? AMD or Intel, which is your preferred choice? And do you think this kind of lacks a Thunderbolt support? We can talk about all of this in the comment section below the video. Thank you very much for watching this episode. In case you want to support me or in case you want to buy this thing at a discount, Check the video description for more information. I'm the Tech Mishka. Look forward to seeing you in the next review. Enjoy your day. And I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.